Hi, Mark Vogt here with uh, Pond Scum Fly Fishing Outfitters and Guides at Large, now going into rod building. If once you start building fly rods, one of the first things a novice tries to figure out is how you're going to hold these guides onto the rod. You're going to hold it on for two or three purposes. One, to get the original spacing to see where the, uh, the rod's going to go. The second thing is you're going to want to hold it in place while you're actually tying the, the, the wrappings on. And what most people do with these things is they actually tape them. But when you tape stuff onto the rod, you're always going to leave a residue. So one little thing that I cooked up that I think is actually pretty clever that I wanted to share with you guys is another little tool you can use for holding things onto the, the holding guides onto the rod without using any tape. It starts off with two things. Just your regular rubber band that uh, girls put in their hair found at any Kmart, Walgreens, Walmart, Target, whatever. And you're going to go and get any kind of a bead that has about an eighth of an inch hole in it. Now, the thing is, you've got to try to get this through, this, the, this rubber band through this hole, and that's no little trick. I just grabbed a little piece of cord or string, and uh, what I'm going to do is feed it through, so that now I've got it stuck on the bottom, and then I'm going to feed this very easily through my bead. I'm going to slide it all the way up. And if I pull really hard, what I end up with is a little sling. Now let's say how we're let's see how we're actually going to use this. Because it's really pretty clever. What I'm going to do is actually go over to my rod that's inside my jig. I'm going to start on the bottom, put it underneath, I'm going to swing this thing over, and I'm going to snug it up. That's all there is to it. Now, you could use the rubber band all by itself. You could snug it up, but eventually what's going to happen is it's going to pull free. That's what this acts like a little bit of a holder. So let's see how we're going to use this the first time. The first time I'm going to use this is when I'm just trying to place my guides and see if they actually make a lot of sense. So I've already marked the belly of my rod with little dots, and I've already marked the location right here of where this guide is supposed to go. All I have to do is fit the two feet inside my little tire, pull it up snug, and I have a very handy way, use this bead now to pull up tight, and I have a very nice way of putting in all of my guides that I can take the rod out and I can actually put all of my guides in, I can get the spacing correctly, I can even assemble the rod, and the important thing is there's enough tension on this that I can actually put my fly line on here and pull. And there's enough tension there that the guide's not going to give or slip. So I can really bend my rod under a fly line and see if I've really got the right spacing. So that's the first use of that. What's really nice is that this thing is really easy to slide back and forth. It's not like a piece of tape. I can slide it up and down several inches in any direction. Great. Next thing we're going to do when you're building a rod is that you have to start putting the wrappings on the guides. That means that I actually need to be able to work with one side. Again, a lot of people would put tape in. They put tape on one side and then they transfer it, but now you're leaving the tape residue. This thing comes to the rescue. My little bead in that if I loosen it up, take my guide out, and then snug it all back up again. I end up with two little wraps that I can actually slide off to the side, position my guide, and then just slide this right over the top of the foot. Can you zoom in on that, Neri? That's pretty handy. That will actually hold that guide plenty easily enough that I can sit and do all my wrappings, finish the wrapping on that one side, and then actually take this, slide it off, work on the other side, and then I'm done with that guide. So there's a little total cost of this. I think I bought uh, 27 of these bands for $2.99. I bought uh, about 50 beads for $2.99. That is a really handy little tool that you can use to really help make your first rod building experience go nicely.
got any other questions, you can go look at www.markvotevogt.us. You'll look for other uh, the tips and tricks and advice on how to build your own rods and how to fly fish. That's it. Happy New Year. Bye.